Uh, everybody, I'm Ben Trotino here with LTV, and I'm here with a very special guest. What's your name? Uh, Ryan Cabrera. It is Ryan Cabrera, and I'm, I'm here to ask Robert you a couple... Robert Goulet. Or Robert Goulet. 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 We could call him that, you know, people might respond more to Robert Goulet. Anyway, I'm here to ask a couple of uh, questions to Ryan Cabrera, so uh, let's get started. All right, question one. So you've been releasing music for about close to 15 years now, mm -hmm. and uh, how would you say your style has changed in those 15 years? Uh, well, first, you know, when I was younger, when I was like 19 or 20, I was, you, you kind of find yourself like, copying other people, like your influences, and you try to, you know, be them. Like for me, it was Dave Matthews. Mm -hmm. I saw him play. I just wanted to be him. So for like the first two or three years of my life, I was just trying to emulate like the way he played and how he was on stage. And then, you know, like after four or five years, you start to kind of develop your sound and figure out who you are. And then I think the more and more like you experience and, you know, after like eight or nine years in the business, you experience so much more. So your music just matures. And uh -huh. uh, I think, you know, it's kind of uh, more uh, grown up now. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you'd like to think that you, you continue to get better and better as a songwriter right. the more and more you, you learn along the way. So I think at this point, like with this new record, it's kind of like the sound that I've always wanted to get but, you know, couldn't get there yet. And mm -hmm. uh, now we've finally accomplished it. So it's less Dave Matthews, more Ryan Cabrera. It is. It, well, yeah, that was, that was like the Dave Matthews era was like 2000. <laughs> right around 2003 was when I started to actually like write my own kind of style of music. Mm -hmm. I think everybody was Dave Matthews in 2000. Yeah, of course. Um, all right. Question two. Um, in your, your latest album, it seems like you collaborated with a lot of writers on this uh, EP and stuff. How is that compared to more writing your own stuff? Uh, well, I mean, it is writing your own stuff. It's just basically you, you get with people who you respect and, uh, and you, you, know, you kind of throw your stuff out there and, you know, they come back with uh, kind of their thoughts and w what you did. It's kind of like writing an essay and then, you know, you have like a teacher read it and be like, okay, I didn't really understand what was going on here. What are you trying to get out in this part? Like maybe you could try something different. So it's a really fun process to work with, you know, people who you, you are a fan of because mm -hmm. then they come back and they'll be like, oh, well, you know, you know, I think the bridge could be stronger. And then you, you, you rewrite a bridge and you're like, shit, yeah, that's way better. Like um, I'm glad, you know, uh -huh. to, you know, to collaborate. And I got to collaborate with a lot of friends, which is really fun. Um, my buddy Travis from We The Kings, we wrote a song together, and okay. uh, my buddy Evan Ross, we wrote a song together, and um, did a bunch with uh, just different people that, you know, I've been hanging out with for the past 10 or 12 years, but we never got to work together, so finally on this record, I did a lot of uh, collaborations with friends. That's cool. Yeah. And then, uh, so one more question, do you prefer more uh, full band performances, or are you the kind of guy who likes to just sit down with the guitar and play on a stage? Totally acoustic, just like we're doing today. Oh, that's crazy, crazy advertising. Uh, no, I, do, I like both, honestly, because, you know, it's fun to play with the full band because, you know, it's so big and, uh, you know, the energy is pretty crazy, but we also like the stripped down stuff because it's, like, what you see today in the hall is kind of, like, how I wrote the songs. So it's mm -hmm. cool to see, you know, what it was like before, you know, the big productions and, uh, everything. So there's two different sides. It's you know it's not as crazy and like dancing, and jumping around, but it's uh, it's 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 a cool because you can slow them down and you can kind of interpret them in a different way than you know people typically get to hear them. Yeah, it's just you and the music. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, well uh, that about does it for LTV. I'm Ben. Thanks for coming out, Ryan. My pleasure. Thanks yeah. for having me.